Hey, so if you're like most golfers, you're losing at least 30 yards of potential distance for your club head speed. And right after this, we're gonna talk about how you're gonna pick back some of that yardage without increasing your club head speed, not even one miles an hour. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve from hititlonger.com. If you haven't yet picked up my free ebook that I'm pointing to right here on the corner of the screen, um, I've left a link in the description down below. It's totally free and it's a bunch of tips I think that are going to help you get more distance down the fairway. If you get benefit out of this video or you just get entertainment value out of it, I hope you'll consider subscribing, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. So today we're back on this popular topic of getting total distance efficiency. That means you're hitting the ball the maximum distance possible given your personal club head speed. Most golfers, in fact, Trekman has put out the average, the, the average male golfer is swinging about 90 or 91 miles an hour, but they're only hitting the ball about 218 yards. I know I've had students and I know what the potential is. I'm going to uh, post the Trekman chart right up here for the, the um, maximum what they have calculated distances for each club head speed at 90 miles an hour I think you should be able to hit a good drive over 250 yards as borne out by the graph here I'm showing in the corner of the screen so what's going on wrong that's keeping you from getting this kind of distance it takes a lot longer to get your speed up from 90 to 100 but if you could raise your efficiency, it's like effectively raising your club head speed, but possibly doing less work. So let's take a look. The main thing we're gonna be talking about today is the concept of high launch and low spin. I just read about an, an interview with Dean Snell of Snell Golf Balls. Uh, he's come out with his, uh, his own brand of golf ball, but he's the one who, who uh, basically created or developed the Pro V1 and the TP5X from TaylorMade. So he's a, one of the leading experts on golf ball and golf ball technology. He says that the, the main reason that the guys on TV and, uh, pick so much yardage over the years is that the modern golf ball just simply spins less off the driver. It, it's not going any faster, it's just spinning less. That's how they picked up all their distance. So the concept we're talking most about today is the concept of launching it high with low backspin. I think where most people fail to reach their maximum potential for their club head speed is they tend to hit the ball with low launch and high spin relative to what they should if they want to max out their distance potential. So here I'm going to hit a couple of drives for you. We're going to look at them on the track man. Uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing it with a higher loft club. I've got a ten and a half degree driver here and I'm going to put the ball more back in my stance to cause myself uh, to hit down on the ball with a negative angle of attack and therefore I should end up with a fairly low launch angle compared to what my optimal would be. And then because I'm getting so much loft for the speed I'm going to be swinging at, uh, I'm going to get a high amount of spin. So let's take a look. Let me hit a couple. We'll come back and review. Okay, let's check that one out. Okay, so I've got my stats for that last drive posted in the corner up here. I'm going to see that I hit down on the ball about six degrees, and I, I launched it at only five degrees. So I had a total of 3,300 RPMs of spin, which is very high for me, with a launch angle that's incredibly low, mostly because I hit very dramatically down on the ball. So here my distance total was only 279 yards even though I swung right about 110 miles an hour. So that to me is highly distance efficient. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a couple of changes. We'll try it again. We'll uh, compare the two. Okay, so if you recall the first drives I was hitting were with a 10.5 degree driver. 
The other adjustments I was making is I was putting the ball back towards the middle of my stance, too far back, which is encouraging more of a downstrike. And you might have picked up that I made a little tiny change in my swing by purposely steepening my shoulders and doing a little bit of an over-the-top move to even cause myself to hit down more, create a lower launch angle. And at such a low launch angle, I would need all that spin, 3,300 spin, even more in order to get the ball to climb and get out to its maximum possible distance. So I think 279 is going to go down. Uh, we'll see how far a six degree driver will go. I'm going to do everything the opposite now. I'm going to, because we're going to extremes here. Ten and a half is way more loft than I would play, but six degrees is less loft than I would normally play. So in order to make this work, and remember, I'm going to try to swing at the same exact speed, about 110 to, for a fair comparison. I'm going to move the golf ball all the way up in my stance to the pinky toe. I'm probably going to introduce a little bit more side tilt to encourage an upstrike and it might even swing just a little bit more from the inside so the opposite of coming over the top i'm going to try to drop the club a little shallower and let it come from the inside and hit up on the ball let's see what happens Okay, um, I got a really good one that time uh, to serve in as an as example of what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to post this uh, up on the screen. Uh, it's the same swing speed um, within a couple tenths of a mile an hour. But what you'll notice here, uh, my angle of attack went from down 6 to up 7.2. Um, really bottomed out behind it. In fact, so much so, I didn't have a high enough tee and I actually did a little drop kick and I hit some turf first. So it just shows you when you're moving towards this higher angle of attack, you've really got to couple it with a higher tee. Um, but you can see up here on the screen, uh, we have the complete other extreme. I launched that ball at 12 degrees, much higher, and it only had 1300 rpms of spin so you're talking about a high knuckleball it came down and it rolled a long way in this case it rolled 37 yards all the way out to th just about 321 so you talk about maximizing distance we just went from what 280 up to 320 so 40 yards uh, by going from one extreme to the other without changing the club head speed at all so you're really looking to maximize out, again, what I call maximum distance efficiency. It's super important. How many miles an hour would you have had to increase your swing speed, given the same efficiency, to the ball 40 yards farther? Well, that might have taken you a year or more, maybe never, to raise your speed. You would have had to raise your speed 12 to 14 miles an hour for that extra 40 yards. And, that's probably unlikely. So uh, a better place to attack here is it by raising your launch angle, by making the adjustments that I made in the swing, and therefore you can drop down in loft so you're not creating as much spin. And that high uh, launch, low spin combination is what's gonna really get you out there a lot farther. So let's review the subtleties that I made between those two setups. On the downward strike, low launch, high spin, I played the ball more back towards the center of my stance as some golfers make the mistake of doing with their driver. Secondly, I came a little bit over the top on my swing this way, which caused me to swing even steeper, coupled with the bad ball position. Conversely, when I wanted to hit upwards and have high launch, low spin, I moved the ball completely out to my pinky toe of my left foot with my ball position. So really crazy forward ball position. And 
I turn my body just a little bit more closed with a little bit more side tilt to ensure that the shape of my swing would come more from the inside and upwards. And because of that, the uh, high launch that I was going to get, I drop down in loft and then I'm going to have to move up to a higher tee as well. Now, in addition to becoming more distance efficient, I've just come out with a new product, a training aid, that I think is going to get you a lot more club head speed by making your backswing longer, wider, giving you more potential for accelerating the club head to maximum speed. I call it the Power Coil Pro. I've got a picture of it here in the screen. And I left a link to purchase it down below if you're interested. Uh, I've had great cases of students picking up five to 10 miles an hour very quickly and turning into a lot more distance. So, hey, I'm Steve. Thanks for subscribing. I truly hope you've enjoyed the content. You get some benefit out of it. If you did, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below if this technique picks you up any yardage. And if I don't see you in the next video, hopefully I'll see you further down the fairway.